arrangements have been made for the Durham convenience store owner shot and killed in an attempted robbery. Police say it happened Tuesday morning at the Family Fair store on Guest Road, and that's where CBS North Carolina's David Hurst is tonight with more on how the victim is being remembered. David. Yes, yeah, Sean Sharon, a memorial is growing here outside the store where 41-year-old John McNeil worked, and he also owned the store as well. People tell us that John Pruitt was working here when he was shot and killed early Tuesday morning. Now, customers who frequented this store often are saying they're shocked over his death and even more surprised by who police say is responsible. He was a wonderful person, wonderful person. Those who visit the Family Fair convenience store often say it will not be the same without John Pruitt behind the counter. You know, it's like a big teddy bear, you know, he's real big, you know, but he's real sweet, you know, real nice, sweet person, you know, real kind. Pruitt owned the store with his two sisters and was opening the store Tuesday morning when, according to a 911 call, a masked man walked in and shot him. The caller's voice has been altered. I pulled up, the guy walked in the store, he pointed a gun at him. I heard the shots and I left. Police have charged 16-year-old Jarrell Paler with Pruitt's murder. They say Paler was also shot and he will be booked into jail after he's released from the hospital. It's unreal with a 16-year-old running around here with a gun. Police say they cannot confirm whether or not Pruitt was the one who shot the 16-year-old, but friends say Pruitt had recently started bringing his gun to work. They had been robbing people out here and that he was going to bring his gun up. He was scared. And as more customers find out about Pruitt's death, the memorial, and their grief grows for the beloved convenience store owner. He was just a very nice man, and I was so heartbroken to hear about what happened to him and the family. The funeral has been scheduled for Sunday afternoon. Coming up at 6, we'll tell you how police believe that 16-year-old was able to get the gun in this shooting. Reporting live tonight in Durham, David Hurst, CBS, North Carolina.